music news. Yeah, okay, so it's time to hear from Manic Street Preachers. They're back with their 13th album, Resistance is Futile. The band are going to be embarking on an eight-date tour in April. It's going to be the biggest run of shows in over 10 years and supported by the Coral. This will coincide with the release of the record on the 6th of April. Um, following on from 2013's Rewind the Film and 2014's Futurology, this LP sees Manic's return to a sound they describe as wine's widescreen melancholia. And um, the tracks on the album are the first recordings to come out of the new studio, Door to the River, near Newport. They recently won the Inspiration Award at the Q Awards at the Roundhouse in London, following the likes of U2, Patti Smith and David Bowie. Tickets for the Arena Tour are online. It kicks off April 23rd in Newcastle with shows in Glasgow, Birmingham, Manchester, Landudno, Leeds, London, and then wrapping up in Cardiff. And so Six Music's Hattie Pierce and spoke to Nicky Wire to get some insight into the inspiration for the new album and what's been happening in the Mannix camp. So this is your first album in four years. How was the process different this time round? Uh, it was a big difference, actually. It's taken a lot, lot. It's the longest gap we've ever had between records. And really, it's only the last sort of four, three, four months where we've had a massive surge of kind of creativity and just old-fashioned hard work, really, to, to pull it all together. There's been a lot of time when we've just been doing stuff that, that hasn't worked and we've had to move studios. And But here we are. It's all come together at the right time. Sonically, it's quite connected to Generation Terrorists. It's, it's, got, it's kind of got that sort of naivety to it, which is quite a trick, really, when you're on your 13th album and you're, you know, you're edging towards 50 years of age. So I think there is a, there's a real naive energy to it, which, um, which came really naturally. I didn't know if we had that left in us. Um, but like I said, it's, there's just an effortless glide to it, really. But it was a bit of a magic moment when we, when we did it in the studio and it just came off. You did record the album in the new studio near Newport. How was the change environment for you and the band? In a kind of rock and roll way only. It was quite traumatic leaving our studio in Cardiff. Um, you know, we'd been there for 10, 15 years, uh, recorded a lot of records there, uh, postcards, Send Away the Tigers, Journal for Plague Lovers and stuff. So it was a wrench when we left and um, there was so much stuff to pack and lose <laughs> then we bought we bought a place and converted it into a studio so that took a long time as well but it feels like home now it feels like you know the greatest garden shed in the world that we can just lock ourselves in and um, face our own creativity again How does it feel that it's now in the bag? Are you just excited to kind of hit the road with it? I'm just incredibly nervous these days. You know, I wish I had the, the sure-footed courage of being a 22-year-old or ever, but um, it's just not like that anymore. It's just completely nerve-wracking and you always feel you're kind of one record away from irrelevance or glory. You know, it's a very fine line. Luckily, we've kind of... <laughs> managed to get a bit of glory over the years but you just never know with your 13th album there's no sign you're going anywhere anytime soon and lucky for some <laughs> What are the main themes in the record, Resistance is Futile? A lot about memory and loss and also inspiration. I tried to write lyrically outside myself a bit. I think um, I didn't want to... I thought people might be a bit bored of my, my internal desperations. And um, there's kind of a few just sort of tribute lyrics on there, really. International Blue itself, which is about uh, the art, French artist Eve Klein. Uh, there's a song called Vivian, which is about Vivian May, the photographer. There's a song called Dylan and Caitlin, which is about the relationship between Dylan Thomas and his wife, Caitlin. So um, it's quite different in a lyrical sense because I have written outside of myself. I've not done that very often, really. Usually it's just me boring people with my anxieties and hatred. So you mentioned about International Blue, which is going to be the first single. What inspired that track? It was my 20th wedding anniversary, actually. Me and my wife went to Nice four years ago now um, one of the first times we'd ever been away without the kids and uh, 
just fell in love with the place. And I'd always been aware with, of Eve Klein as an artist who I liked, but it just brought everything together, seeing the Mediterranean sea outside the hotel room and looking up at the sky and uh, the Museum of Modern Art in Nice has a, a lot of Eve Klein originals and it just everything connected. So I started writing the lyric then, four years ago, and uh, it's taken a long time to finish. <laughs> But James was itching for one. It's one of the latest songs we wrote on the album and uh, he wanted like a driving song, something that evoked the sort of gliding beauty of motorcycle emptiness. And um, that's what we try to do, really, is there's something glacial about it. Um, sort of driving songs of our youth and stuff like growing up and listening to the I know, Boys of Summer by Don Henley, something that just gives that sense of motion and a heat haze. Yeah. 